come back to this time frames question. How in the fourth turning, Neil Howe explains that these seasons tend to vary in length over time. I put 2032 on the, on the screen a few minutes ago as the end of the crisis season in which we are right now. It, he says 2030 or 2034 or somewhere between. So I just averaged those two to put 2032 on, on the screen. 2032 also just so happens to be Martin Armstrong's cyclical analysis identifying, and I quote, the end of the American Republic, 2032. And if that means it's morphing into some type of oppressive, you know, speaking like a dragon entity, or if it means it's under the conquest of another nation, which would put the Mark of the Beast crisis prior to that, we can't set dates, but we know we are in the crisis season up until that point, which is the season that has the highest likelihood for a Mark of the Beast crisis. Now, let's ask this question. Could history, can history, break away from the cycles? They have always repeated. They just keep on repeating. It seems like they can't break away from the cycles. God made the sun appear to stand still once. I have two words for you, divine sovereignty. You cannot make a God out of historical cycles. They are not God. God can overrule those in the same way he can say, let there be light and there is light. He is the all powerful, almighty God. The sun standing still is a key point there because it's suspended time. In Matthew 24, it actually says, Except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. This was a reference to the Dark Ages persecution, but it's a principle that God can apply any time. He can cut short the work in righteousness, as it says in Romans 9. He will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. So these dates that we're throwing out that's coming up, 2025, 2027, 2030, 2032, 2034, we have no assurance that we have those dates ahead of us. This is just a period of time that is going to be the most intense crisis if time continues that long. And you could also ask, have the cycles always worked perfectly? No, there's one anomaly in the seven cycles of the Anglo-American history. The Civil War cycle got off on timing a little bit. So it's six out of seven. When I say these repeat, it's not perfect. But then again, the one we're in right now started exactly on time. It was supposed to start in 2008, and it did with the great financial crisis. But on the other side of the coin, God could cut the work short in righteousness, but also we could be like, by all objective measures, by the announcements of the power elite from the 2008 ODNI report to the occult, to Bill Gates, to the Jesuits, to, you know, all of the, to the legal report, to the cycles, uh, the scholarly work, all of it several cycles, several different scholars on it. Howe, Strauss, Armstrong, Thompson, Goldstein, they're all saying 2025 to 2030 is mega war crisis. But God could say, no, I disagree, I'm God. <laughs> and he could say this, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it, what's the next word? Tarry, though it be delayed, wait for it. So yes, this is supposed to be in 2025 and leak into 2024 possibly, or at least be 2027, even possibly nuclear at that point. We've got all these supposed tos, but you have a sovereign God who is uh, more powerful than supposed tos. So don't take the content and the analysis we've done here as prophecy. It's not. It's scholarship, it's history, it's cycles, it's analysis, it's probabilities. But I have one more quote on this. At the end, it will not tarry because God's purposes, no, no haste and no delay.